gonna be right on them. You're gonna be right on the turkeys? Yeah, we're gonna be at the bottom of the tree. Yeah. They're gonna be at the top of the tree. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You've been kind of scouting and figuring out yep. where they are? Yep. Here. the trees there, like, where they're at. Okay. Well, sounds good. Yep. All right, it is a turkey hunting morning. Warren's got his coffee here ready, and it is uh, five after five. Yep. <laughs> I was up, I set my alarm for 4.30. Mm -hmm. I was up at four, <laughs> and I waited until my alarm went off. <laughs> you woke up that early, huh? <laughs> I always do that when I think I'm Turkey hunting, turkey hunting. Yep. How confident are you that Peter's gonna shoot a turkey this morning? Ah, uh, very confident. Yeah? He's got a really good spot picked out. And uh, I think he's gone two for two the last two years. So I think On youth hunt or during hunt. regular youth hunt? Okay. So I think we could make it three for three. Awesome. But we'll see. It's gonna be a great morning. The trick is we gotta get in there before the turkeys can see us. And I'm wearing chest waders so I can lay on the ground and not get wet. <laughs> well it's a good um good tick. Stay warm too. It's a good way to keep the ticks off you. Oh sure. Although there's not gonna be any ticks, it's so cold out there. You just never know. It's about 22 degrees right now. Which it was the first night. First night of frost watch. First night of frost watch. Dad, you should start filming frost watch night. Oh boy. <laughs> and see the progression of me getting crankier and crankier and crankier. Yes. <laughs> we don't need that on film. No. <laughs> Only bringing three of them though. Okay. Rambo mode. <laughs> see this one. This one, and the one least chewed up by the bear. We'll see ya. All right, see ya. Hey, good luck, you guys. Thanks. You shut my... I will shut everything off, yep. Office. Okay. All right. You got shells? Yep. All right. See ya. Bye. What you making, Peter? Ramen. Breakfast ramen? Yeah. 8 o'clock a.m. ramen. Yeah. <laughs> well, tell me about the turkey hunt. We didn't shoot anything. We saw, so when we got out there, we were, it was still a bit dark. And in this one tree, I saw a big tom turkey uh, <laughs> was strutting <laughs> in the tree and it flew down. And then right as it flew down, a bunch of hens came and flew down. And then we called, but we couldn't get it to come in. I see. And then... Why Why does that not work? Because when it has... When there's live hens around it, it wouldn't want to come into a decoy hen. Just a decoy, yeah. I see. And then they left after about an hour. And uh, then like two hours... No, probably like... Half an hour later, uh -huh. oh, the really big Tom came running through, but it wasn't interested. I see. Yeah. Any more plans to hunt? Um, we're gonna hunt tomorrow morning. Okay. And tomorrow night. Okay. have some fun activities planned for this afternoon. We're going to be heading to a planetarium um, and I just wanted to get some supper ready ahead of time here. I'm not sure if we're kind of going to play it by ear as far as if we want to come home for supper or if we're going to go out to eat, but I just thought, you know what, it would be easier <laughs> if I had something ready, then we would know that it would be easy to just come home and eat. So I don't know, but I just want to have it ready. If it is if we end up not eating it tonight, then you know what? We can just have it tomorrow, and that's perfect too.
I'm putting together some meatballs, so I'm kind of modifying a couple of different meatball recipes. I have two pounds of ground venison in here with two cups of saltine cracker crumbs, two eggs, probably a third of a cup, maybe a little bit more of milk, two tablespoons of minced, dried minced onion, a good hefty teaspoon to teaspoon and a half of this Better Than Bouillon Roasted Beef Base. I also add in some extra salt and pepper. Sometimes you just gotta dig in with your hands. It just works so much better to get everything mixed together. I'm gonna get these shaped into good sized meatballs, put them onto a greased pan and bake them in the oven at 350 degrees for probably about 20 minutes and maybe they could go all the way up to 30 minutes. We'll see. I don't know how this happened, but the meatballs actually worked out perfectly. I have, what do I have, eight rows of six. It never happens like that. There's always like just a little extra that you just can't seem to get on the pan someplace. Perfect today though. I have another couple of pounds of ground venison sizzling. Can you hear that? I'm browning it right now in just a little bit of oil. And I'm gonna get an onion chopped up, add it to that, and guess what I'm making? If you said chili, <laughs> You'd be right. <laughs> it's been since the Saturday before Easter that we had chili, and I know that Warren always says that we just don't have it have chili enough. So I'm making chili again here. It's not, we're not going to eat it for a couple of days, but I do like to get it um, made so that it has time for the flavors to go through. Last time I made chili, I used an instant pot to cook up the beans, and I thought I would do that again. Honestly, I just hit the button on my phone and I say how to cook dried beans in the instant pot, and whatever the first like instructions that pop up are, that's what I use today. This particular recipe called to add a bay leaf and onion, but I didn't really want to do that. It also called for salt, and I put the salt in, and then as I was fully reading the directions, it says I should have added the salt when they were all done cooking. Well. I guess it is what it is. Uh, these are going. These are kidney beans, so they're going to go at 35 minutes high pressure. Maria, did you sneak a, a meatball? No, Joe. Oh, Joe snuck one. I come in here. I was just going to take a picture or some video here to say, oh, I tried a meatball and they're really good. And I noticed there's two gone. I'm like, I think I only ate one. Yeah, so, Joe took one. okay, of course he did. He is such a meat fanatic. Um, Let's see. I am going to put the chili away into the refrigerator. I will make the noodles uh, another time. This is just going to do its thing. We have to leave in about 
35 minutes so that means this will have turned off I can hit cancel at that point and the beans can just stay in there and as far as the meatballs what was I going to serve these with okay I just came over here to look at what I was going to serve the meatballs with I was going to make just like some basic brown gravy the packets work just fine sometimes I doctor them up with a little extra like garlic or maybe um, some minced onion or something but then I was going to do egg noodles and green beans so like I said it might be tonight's meal it might end up as tomorrow's meal so we're heading up to the planetarium right now and I was just reading comments to Warren and first of all thank you to everybody that leaves a comment there are so many sweet comments and those we all go aww to. And then there are some, some funny ones. Enjoy those. And then there's, you know, there's always one. There's always one that maybe somebody took something I said uh, differently than how I meant it. Anyway, in my last grocery haul, which just posted last night, uh, I made a comment that grocery prices were going up. And there were a couple comments about that and I just was thought I might as well address them right now because they weren't necessarily questions for the Q&A. And I put this gum in and now my mouth is watering. And so the first comment was someone was just saying, oh, you seem like you're surprised that grocery prices are going up. They've been doing that for a long time. And I probably just was not clear because sometimes my mouth and my brain aren't always working like in tandem and what I meant in that grocery haul was that grocery prices had been going up like skyrocketing was that 2021 and 2022 I feel like um, even through 2023 but it seemed like we've had probably about five months or so where the prices have sort of just plateaued and they hadn't been going up and then this last time I went to the grocery store, I was like, oh my goodness, everything in a box or processed just took like another jump again. And so I guess that was what I meant. And it definitely wasn't whining. Someone thought that maybe that was what I was doing too. And I definitely wasn't whining, just making an observation. Um, I know that there's a lot of people who watch grocery hauls or other shopping hauls because they don't necessarily get out to the stores as much. And part of my grocery haul, or part of that sharing in those types of videos, is just to kind of give people maybe who don't have a chance to get out to the stores just a little bit of a of a insight or a little bit of a rundown as to kind of what's going on in the stores. For those of you who always come to my defense in the <laughs> in the comments, thank you for those too because we enjoy reading all of the comments. Planetarium. Do I have the paper? Yeah. It just said two o'clock, so we're here. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't say like to meet anywhere. No, we're just here. Warren knows how to get us wherever oh, we need so to be like on time, guy. so we have a little extra time. Then if you look at it this uh -huh. way. Uh-huh, it was a guy, and then, oh my goodness. So, anyway, there's an art show. So we are, we're looking at art. Did you see that one, where you looked at it the one way and then the other way? Wow. Did you look at the one where you looked at the one way it was a guy and the other way it was a tiger? That was cool. Found my favorite I don't know if it's a painting or oil pastel or what she used, but this is absolutely beautiful. Which one? Oh, the rubber duckies, that's cute, but <laughs> it's got the big, is that a, what kind of whale is that? Yeah. <laughs> so 
So each bottle of mineral oil should fill up. Look at that. Freeze dried ice cream. She's calling it astronaut ice cream. How cool. It's just <laughs> All right, we're done with the planetarium. This was actually a group, um, like a Down Syndrome Association kind of a group activity. And it was kind of funny. The guy who was in charge of running the planetarium show, he said, do you guys have like an official name to your group? And Joe just blurts out. What did you blurt out? What, well, what did you call our, our group? I'm so hungry. You're so hungry. He called our group the so Orion starving. Star Bears. But it was just classic that there we are in a planetarium. I don't even think Joe knew what what we were going to be doing. And he just knew that. So anyway, then the guy, um, the leader, he proceeded to share with us, show Orion and show Ursa Major and the bear and the story and all of that. So that was pretty fun. Everybody is ahead of me. It seems like I'm here alone, but they're all <laughs> way ahead of me. I think we're gonna get something. <laughs> I'm coming. Are we gonna get something to eat somewhere? What are we gonna do? If I dumped water in these dehydrated, I would not. They would get. I yeah, think they I would get mushy. Yeah, they would go back. Yep. To Everybody ice got cream. astronaut ice cream. So what are you going to get? <laughs> Since we're in Wausau, we decided that we would use Chain Garden. Today's video is not sponsored by Upside, but I do use their app. This is actually, I don't even know how many times I've used it, but I like it. It gives me a percent back, and Warren is already... What are you going to get? <laughs> ...harassing me about what I'm going to get. I know what I'm getting. Every single time we go to a restaurant, we're keeping me miles away, and he's yeah, already... Uh, what are you getting, Dad? I am getting Kung Pao chicken. <laughs> is it spicy? We can Kung be Pao is. We can be miles away and he's already asked me what I'm going to get. What are you going to get, Maria? Rice. <laughs> Rice. Mm -hmm. Maria got Look fancy it's silverware. Like, it's weird. It's like big like this comes to a point. <laughs> it's weird. I see some crab. You do. What? What's your um, take? Your first time having a crab ragoon? It's hot. Good. <laughs> what? You ate it. Did you like it? Did you like it? I love them. Joe, did you try one? <laughs> no, I can't taste bubble butter right now. You can't oh, taste one. It is hot, burning, is and dirt. Peter, what did you get? It was broken. I got chicken lo mein. No. Mm -hmm. First time? Yeah. That's good. Warren, what'd you get? <clears throat> I don't know how you eat it. You're already... <laughs> and it's hot. It's spicy. Like it. <laughs> how about you, Joe? What kind of... Two grains of rice. It's broken in half. They're supposed to be. <laughs> you got a really nice looking Chinese hamburger oh, there. come on. And Maria? Not, no I got like two grains of rice. <laughs> <laughs> and no. I went for sesame chicken today, which is very different. I usually go with, for something no. with tons of vegetables in it, but I just couldn't decide and this was quick and I ordered it and it's going to be delicious. Oh, the temp is going down. Hot parking lot and it was 85, although now we're like moving and it's going down, but we're here for it, at least I am. Just think last night it was 17. It looks like Peter's running for some tools. Did you bring one? Wow, what did you catch, Peter? That's a giant. Holy, holy smokies. Yeah, holy smokes oh, is oh, right. Oh. Whoops, sorry. Wow. Look at that thing. Holy cow. Where'd you put cow. that tape measure? It's on the floor. <laughs> nice, let me get a picture. That's a big one. 
I'm going for crappies. All right. You're going for crappies? Yep. I don't know what I'm going for. This is what I have. I guess I have an ultralight with that little setup on it and a bobber. Oh, <laughs> I cast and it went right into the, right into the reeds. All right. Hey, look at that. I got it. Mom. Yeah. One spot that I gotta change this bait. It's too heavy. Okay. Oh, you actually cast and didn't get anything? Yeah. <laughs> I've cast. Oh. I haven't caught a single fish yet. Well, you gotta make your twister tail. You know, honestly, what would work best for you? is if you just slowly would reel it in. I was kind of doing that for a little bit. Trying like, to catch some crappies here, but they're just not cooperating. Just not cooperating. Something. And what's what's going on for tonight's... Sorry to interrupt you, what were you going to say? Something big swirled over there. Oh, nice. What's going on for um, temperature and stuff tonight? It's going to be warm. It's supposed to be low at 39. I mean, it's 7.30 and you're in a t-shirt right now. Yeah, it's pretty warm. A lot different than last night. A lot different. Yeah, last night the temp started dropping. Well, actually, it probably started dropping right about now. Yeah. I had to start to pumps at 10 o'clock. At 10. And it got down to what? 17. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's telling me where the bluegills are, but I can't seem to catch them. All right, I'm going to head down there, see if I can try to catch that, see if I can catch that bluegill, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more just like day in the life videos, uh, definitely hit the like button. That helps me to know that you guys like this style of video and not like just the cooking ones. All right, you guys have a great night, and we'll see you soon. See ya. <laughs>